Hey everybody, I'm Jerry here from Android Central, and we're going to have a look at the manual video controls on the LG V10. So sit back and say cheese. One of the best things about the LG V10 is its camera. And that includes the video camera, which has a built-in great set of manual controls. That's what we're going to take a few minutes and look at here. You fire up your camera application, and you'll see a lot of choices, a lot of buttons, a lot of things everywhere. But it's really easier than you think. Over on the side, where the second screen is, you'll notice you've got a few choices here. You can shoot in manual. That's where we're at. Uh, manual for the still camera. Auto, which is auto for everything. Simple, which is just simple. Snap video, which is really cool. But we're focusing on the manual controls, and that's where we have it set. The first thing we want to talk about are the white balance controls. Tap the button labeled WB at the bottom of the screen, and it brings a slider up on the right-hand side. You'll see a lot of numbers, but what you really need to remember is that the higher the number, the more yellow your picture is going to be. That means if your light bulb is really blue, It'll balance things out. Conversely, the lower the number, the bluer your screen will be. If you've got a really yellow bulb, like let's say an old-style incandescent bulb, this can balance things out really nicely. Next, you've got your manual focus. Tap the button labeled MF, and again, you see another slider with a little macro image, and up at the top, there's a mountain. Adjust the slider up and down to adjust the focus. Uh, move it close down to macro, and you can see the focal point adjusts, and you need to get a little closer. Move it the other way, and eventually you come to unlimited focus, which means you need to be about 24 inches away for it to even start to look good. Next up is exposure compensation, and again, if you tap the button with a plus and minus, you get another slider on the side. This helps brighten or darken your image. If you're out in bright light, you might need to make it a little darker. If your light is very dim, you might need to make it brighter. Next up are the ISO controls. ISO is a really one of the really important manual controls. Uh, what it does is it determines how much light can reach your camera sensor. Generally, a lower number will cause an image to be darker. A higher number will be, cause an image to be brighter. But the higher the number, the more noise you can introduce. Uh, this is something that you learn by doing. But generally, inside in darker environments, you're going to want to, you know, 400 or higher. Outside in the bright sun, you may be able to take it way down. Play with this one. Next up are the shutter speed controls. While your V10 doesn't really have a, an iris shutter, it compensates for it electronically. Shutter speed is another one of those important ones that can make or break a video or a picture. Higher numbers are shorter in duration. The V10 goes to one six thousandths of a second. And I'm going to tell you, if you set your shutter speed that fast, you're going to need a whole lot of light, as you can see here. Uh, conversely, if you bring it down to the bottom, which is one thirtieth of a second, possibly too much light can get in. I like to keep it around one sixty for most uses. Finally, we have the auto exposure lock button, uh, and what this does is keeps your V10 from auto adjusting the exposure. If it's unlocked, you can go in and you can set your own EV value, whether you want it to be a little bright or a little dark or somewhere in the middle. Then if you press the auto exposure lock, that won't change no matter what the light does or how the light changes. As you can see, none of these settings are difficult to understand when taken individually. You tap a button, you get a slider on the side, move it to either of these extremes, and you can easily tell what it's doing. The key is how they work together. Do you have the right ISO speed for your shutter speed, or is your EV too high or too low based on the available light? Now that manual controls for video are on mobile, we get a chance to play with that and practice. I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the videos you guys can crank out with the V10 because it's an awesome phone if you're a photographer or a videographer. That's it for me and my V10. I'll talk to you guys later. I am out of here.